Duchess praised and widely admired for recent royal move. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, has been heaped with praise for staying in touch with the needs of the British public. Kate, 39, married into the royal family almost a decade ago and the future queen has become a firm favorite in the eyes of the British public. A royal expert has echoed this and exclaimed the Duchess recently played a blinder. Jenny Bond, a former BBC royal correspondent, has said Kate is able to tap into the public mood. She told the Sunday Times, she's widely admired now as a public figure and I think she's demonstrating that she's very much in touch with the mood of the country. The expert, who has also written a number of books on the royal family, also claimed the Duchess has played a blinder of late, in reference to her unscheduled visit to Sarah Everard's vigil last month. Kate turned up at Clapham Common on March 13 to pay her respects to the 33-year-old whose body was found days after she went missing while walking home. Kate, who was dressed casually in black jeans and a beige jacket, lay some flowers that she picked from the garden in Kensington Palace. At the time a spokeswoman said, she laid flowers in a private capacity. She remembers what it was like to walk around London at night before she was married. She also sent a personal letter to Sarah's family expressing her condolences. The visit to the vigil was not listed in the court circular. The Daily List of Royal Engagements, which suggested it was not an official engagement. But Met Police Commissioner Dame Cressida Dick said officers knew Kate was going to attend the vigil, which was a formal royal visit. The police chief told BBC Radio 4's Today programme, the Met de No, absolutely, but of course we take all sorts of precautions to make sure that we don't unwittingly draw attention to visits like that. Dame Cressida added, she's in the course of her duties. She was working. Dame Cressida added, she's in the course of her duties. She was working. She described the first few hours of the vigil as very calm, which is when the royal attended. But later that evening protesters ended up clashing with police, as officers attempted to disperse the crowds that had gathered to pay their respects. The police chief added, what I was saying consistently was this is likely to be illegal, if it is illegal and people do not disperse when they're asked to do so. We will use as much discretion as we can, we will encourage people, we will try to get them to disperse, but if they don't disperse we will end up arresting people. Kate's attendance at the vigil was far from condemned, as she was praised for quietly visiting the event, having not given the heads up to the press beforehand. It was just by chance that members of the public recognized her and posted images to social media. Sunday Times journalist Tony Allen Mills described Kate's attendance as a triumph. He said, What emerged most clearly from Kate's modestly controversial outing was not another disaster for the House of Windsor. It has turned into something of a triumph.